So, it's always great racing. Love to, um, I suppose, catch up with everyone. Brad Hewitt, I mean, a bit to win out in front of a good crowd there on a big night like the tonight is, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's always good to get a winner on nights like this, that's for sure, Paul. Um, nice little horse, Lebroski. Um, got a nice record now, too. So, daughter of Sweet Lou, how'd you come to get her? Uh, just the uh, age on his all the time, Stu Valentine, yeah, become good friends with him, and yeah, he just sent her through and suggested, and I had a look at her, and she uh, she uh, uh, ran a really good race to good mares over in New Zealand against all the group group one fillies over there. To, it was only a second start, and then yeah, I, I rang up as soon as they went over the line to, to buy, and lucky enough to get her. She's got a future. Yeah, I think she's a really nice small, really nice mare, Paul. She's um, just improving each start, start you give her. Like, like you said, I think she's had seven starts. There was, there was two year olds that had more starts than her last year, so. Yeah, she's just getting better each time she steps out and hopefully she can yeah, keep on that upward trajectory. You know strangers are nice horses. Can you, how far do you think she can go? Like she can get to that higher in mare's class, you reckon? I think so, Paul. I've got a yeah, really big opinion of her. Like, just what she can do at home and she still yeah, doesn't know, really know what she's doing. Like Especially in front there, she's just lost there tonight and at home she's just useless in front too. She's still like a big baby, doesn't know what she's doing. I think she just... yeah done everything, following a helmet, and that's that's how she's best driven, is yeah, coming off a helmet. She's got yeah, blistering speed, so that's going to be the way to drive her down the track. Uh, 51 weeks, it'd be nice to have her. It'd be nice to have her 52 weeks if she's back here in 12 months for the for the Miracle Mile, but that, that's that's great to, you know, good for you guys. Mick Boots, the owner, I just want to give him a, a big rap, uh, one of the owners, there's quite a group of owners in there, but just doing a terrific job for people everywhere right through victoria and new south wales just getting these nice horses into nice stable you know stables give you guys a real push along yeah that's right paul I, mick i can't speak high enough of him he, he sent his horses everywhere got his horses with all different trainers and yeah he's i couldn't have an easier bloke to train for he's just there yeah, i'm bl blessed to have him on board the Riverina, mate, you guys are flying. I've only done one other interview tonight so far. That was with Cam Hart. Uh, we, we, we just got a, a photo bomb by Jackson uh, walking through, so we've got everything going on. It must be fun being a part of the Riverina in that New South Wales and just the way that it is heading at the minute. Trainers, drivers, owners, horses. It's a real positive vibe through that area. That's right, Paul. We do a lot of our racing down there. It takes us yeah, the best part of three hours to get there. We're, we're at Garwin. It's a lot closer to come here. But, yeah, obviously we can place our... Our horses are coming through the grades a lot better down around the Riverina and it's just straight down the highway like it's a lot easier on the horses. It's actually quicker to go to Bathurst but you've got to go over that windy mountain and just uh, it takes a toll on the horses especially this time of year like or through the summertime. I think it really knocks them around a bit. It's a bit easier through the, the winter time but yeah it's just it knocks them around that Bathurst trip so yeah, but back to what you were saying, it's always good to get down to Riverina. There's some great horses getting around there at the minute, and yeah, it's proved it tonight. I'm showing my ignorance because I actually thought that's where you were from, but you are Goulburn, but you, you Hewitts are from everywhere, so it doesn't matter if I say somewhere in New South Wales, you can always claim somewhere. Uh, a little bit of chocolates and boiled lollies, the one misbehave on your... Did you actually catch that out the corner of your eye that it was galloping? I did, and yeah, I was dirty because I actually thought she could run a really good race. I've got a nice opinion of her too. She's got really high speed, so... I thought she would have been right in the race there tonight and yeah, I seen her galloping out the corner of my eye and yeah, I was a bit filthy about that, but at least we, we got the chockies anyway. Long night for you, you got a couple of runners going around later in the night, two-year-olds and that. Excitement level though, it's just a good night to be a part of, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, Paul. You're, you always like to just get down here on these big nights, yeah, yeah, and sh especially if you can get a win and showcase your horses. So yeah, it's just great to be a part of and it's been blessed to have a, a nice night and unlike a couple of weeks ago with the, all the rain and thunderstorms so yeah in for a good night can you win another one yeah the, i got i think i got two more good chances the blazing banners drawn outside the front so it makes it hard but he's going really good and yeah the, the little two-year-old um in the sapling he he's got good ability but he's drawn in the car park too but with a bit of luck the, the pair of them they'll yeah i reckon they can be hard to hold out Super exciting race at uh, Sapling Heat, though, isn't it? There's a lot of intrigue, um, some very well-bred horses, well-performed horses, too, that are only lightly raced. There's a fair bit of intrigue in that. Yeah, it's always a great time of year, and especially leading up to the Gold Crown. Like, it's only a couple of weeks away, but, yeah, it's always interesting to watch. these All these two-year-olds have only had sort of one start, all of them, so, yeah, we'll find out a bit more about a few of them tonight. Well done, Brad. Congratulations taking that race to you tonight. A miracle mile night. Congratulations. And uh, hopefully I can have another chat with you a bit later on. Good on you. Thanks, Paul.